water resources we all know that water is essential for all forms of life do you know why earth is called the blue planet about 3/4 of the earth's surface is covered with water 71% as such the earth appears blue from space and hence called the blue planet now we can list out the different sources of water there are large water bodies like oceans seas lakes streams rivers fresh water ground water etc these are the different sources of water on earth conserving water and improving its quality the major contaminants of water are bacteria and parasites chlorinated hydrocarbons volatile hydrocarbons lead salt hardness and iron the use of pesticides in some way or the other is hazardous to people as they are not biodegradable water is contaminated with hydrocarbons by oil spills leaking petrol and diesel tanks and cleaning fluids that are flushed down the drains iron contamination and hard water are more serious problem for industrial activities and electricity generation besides these problems there are certain methods to conserve water now we can list out some methods to conserve water rain water harvesting methods for keeping the rain water in reserves are termed as rain water harvesting do you know rain water can be stored in the tank for 3 to 5 years making it a regular source of drinking water rain water polar pani is the purest form of natural water it is often used to cure ailment of sick people many houses are built near the tank to keep the house or rooms cool in summer watershed development watershed is the basin of a tributary of a main river sprinkle irrigation it is the most effective and efficient tool of irrigation drip or trickle irrigation this is another type of irrigation which is used to conserve water water is supplied to plant roots through underground pipes fresh water when we take 71% of the earth surface which is covered by water only 3% of it is fresh water fresh water is easily available and is suitable for human use it is found as ground water as surface water in rivers and lakes and as water vapor in the atmosphere fresh water is continuously being renewed and recharged through hydrological cycle do you know from where fresh water is obtained surface run off ground water can you say what surface water is it is the overland flow of rain water the surface run off from a large area gets collected in the form of small streams which unite together 
to make big rivers. The area drained by a big river along with its small streams, tributaries, is called a river basin. Surface water resources include water in the rivers and the reservoirs, water in the lakes, ponds and tanks, water in the seas and water in the oceans. Now let us understand what is underground water resource. It includes water which has become underground through percolation or seepage and is lying in the porous rock above the in porous rocks. Water Resources India Here we will study the distribution of water resources in our country, India. India receives a good amount of rainfall, but the distribution of rainfall is highly uneven. About 20% of the rainwater is lost by evaporation and nearly 30% seeps below the ground. Many parts of India face acute shortage of water, even for domestic use. In India, large volume of water is used for irrigation as it is necessary to raise crops. India has many perennial rivers like Satluj, Bias, Indus, Ganga, Yamuna and Brahmaputra. Here we came across perennial rivers. What do you mean by perennial rivers? Perennial rivers are those rivers where we can obtain water regularly throughout the year. India has developed many hydropower projects to generate hydroelectricity, of which Bhakran Nangal project, Hirakud project and Kosi project are the important ones. Utilization of water resources We all use water for numerous purposes. We can list out Certain uses of water Drinking Bathing and washing Irrigation Industries Navigation Generation of hydel power Fishing And numerous other purposes like sewage disposal for urban areas etc. Landslides Landslides are defined as the mass movement of rock, debris or earth down a slope. They often take place in conjunction with earthquakes, floods and volcanoes. A prolonged spell of rainfall can cause heavy landslide that can block the flow of river for quite some time. The formation of river blocks can cause havoc to the settlements downstream on its bursting. Mitigation Mechanism Advancement in scientific techniques has empowered us to understand what factors cause landslides and how to manage them. Some broad mitigation techniques of landslide are as follows. Hazard mapping locates areas prone to landslides. Hence, such areas can be avoided for building settlements. Construction of retention wall to stop land from slipping. Increase in the vegetation cover is an effective way to arrest landslide. The surface drainage control works are implemented to control the movement of landslide along with rainwater and spring flows.